Welcome to part 2 of my series on content pack creation. Before we begin, make sure you watch part 1. Link is in the description. Today's video will be about how to edit the phase files and what you should and shouldn't delete in each phase folder. Texture editing is the central point of interest for most content packs. I say most because not all content packs change the textures of the game. Editing the textures is easy. Most of it is done in programs like Photoshop or Paint, but you can also download stock images from the internet and replace existing ones. However, that's just for the images. There's another more difficult part of texture editing, and it's vital for most textures. These are RGB files. They're responsible for adding transparency to textures. Very few programs can open them, but GIMP is the most recommended. The download link is in the description. RGB files are only black and white. Anything that's white will be shown in game, and anything that's black will be transparent. Keep that in mind, because if you edit a transparent texture without reflecting it onto its RGB file, the texture will show up broken, and you'll have to go back and fix it. You can also edit fonts. They're all found in Phase 3 in the Fonts folder. If you replace a font, be sure to rename the file to match the font you're replacing. There's a catch to replacing fonts, though. You can't resize them, so if your custom font is too big or too small for your liking, your only options are to change to a different font revert the font back to the original, or just deal with it being the wrong size. Next up is music editing, which is a piece of cake. Bring a song if you're choosing into an audio editing program, such as Audacity, and re-export it as an OGG file. Rename it to the song you want to replace, and you're done! The hardest part about it is coordinating what song should replace what. And, as a small tip, Toon Slingshot and Treasure Dive have reversed file names for some strange reason, and Cannon Game and Tug of War are two separate files with the same song. Finally, let's go through what you should and shouldn't delete from the phase folders. As a general thing to keep in mind, the Models, DNA, and Paths folders should not be in any of the phase folders. You can't edit them, and they waste space. If you're making a music pack, delete all of the Maps folders. If you're making a texture pack, delete all of the music folders. Now for the specifics of a full content pack. Assuming you won't be editing the sound effects, here's what you should and shouldn't keep. In phase 3, you'll want to keep maps, music, fonts if you plan on editing them, and etc. if you plan to edit the cursor. In phases 3.5, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, keep only maps and music. In phases 5 and 5.5, keep only maps. The maps folder has only textures, but the music folder has the subfolders BGM, Dial, and SFX. Once again, assuming you won't be editing sound effects, delete anything that isn't the BGM folder. That's all for this episode. The next and final video will be about recompressing the phase files into a single pack file and how you should go about testing your pack. Thanks for watching.